Hi, uh, welcome to our, our Remote Alert demo tour. Um, for this tour, I'm, I'm going to concentrate on one specific feature. Uh, um, this is the probably the best feature uh, for you to understand the motion detection events. Um, this um, allows us to uh, see the daily images that have been saved uh, for this day. Uh, these are so far the images that have been saved for for the um, for the for this, this, this for the twelfth of May uh, in two thousand and eight, and so far you'll see we've already saved you know the camera the white camera slapped a number of images uh, already throughout the the day so far. So really, um, let's by using the start date and end date, we can go back to the days that that might be of interest. For example, we might say. Well, we had an incident in our house or in our business about 10th of May, so we want to view the, um, the images from, from, from that time period, that day period. So really, all we have to do is click here, we'll go on to Saturday the 10th. Um, let's just say we want to start the images, we want to see the images as from, um, let's just say, 10 o'clock in the morning, because someone told us that, that something had happened that uh, between 10 and 11 o'clock in, in the morning. So we just go on to here. So, we, so suddenly we've, we've told the system we want to find the images for the Saturday uh, 10th from 10 o'clock in the morning. And really, let's just say, you know, the incident happened within an hour, hour and a half. So we better, uh, w we want to see over a, a two hour period. So again, we'll just quickly go in and select 10th of um, 10th of May, which is here. And now let's reduce this from, from you know, 25 to 1. Let's let's put it to um, 12 o'clock. So we just go down here, and we just go click on here, and we click on this one to give us the actual time, right time period. And suddenly, you know, we have the um, click on back on there. Now, if we just click the show image button, um, this will show us the images now f for that uh, determined period that that we requested. So we can see we've got three pages of images. Um, between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock uh, on the on the uh, 10th of May, and again, if we want to start looking at the individual images. We can say, um, let's have a look at here what happened, um, and we see some persons arriving into the reception area of this, this uh, self storage company in Scotland at, at uh, 10:35. So really, that gives you uh, a quick tour of the motion detection events. Probably one of the best tools um, that I enjoy using most of all is rather than having to look at individual uh, pictures uh, over the, the time f the time period that you've selected, you can actually uh, have it as a slideshow. So we just click slideshow and again on the 10th of May between 10 and 12, what we'll see here is the images are loading in now and these are all the actual saved images that um, that our white camera, indoor white cameras detected uh, in the reception area um, at this self storage company. So as you just when the images are just downloading, uh, we'll start seeing a sort of time f time lapse, uh, sort of slideshow of of the images um, between the time of uh, you know ten o'clock and uh, twelve o'clock. As you see, activity is beginning to come through now. So these are different images that are coming in between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock. So that's really um, a, a real useful tool um, is, is actually seeing the, uh, the, all, the, all the images we selected over a two hour period um, on, on a slideshow. Uh, I'd like to see exactly um, if, if we wanted to, to check that something had happened uh, that we wanted to see on that specific day and that specific time. Um, again, um, if we go back, um, know to 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 the, sh the show images side um, if we want to save any image any of the images uh, we have a very simple tool all you have to do is right click the, the image and you have the option to save the instant which would go down to the saved instant um, area of remote alert which is where these images are saved permanently uh, rather than uh, so even when we use our allocation of space over the time period and frame that we've selected with 100 megabytes and um, these images will be saved permanently so that they won't they won't disappear in a week or two or three weeks time you can also save the image um, which will save it onto your onto your computer desktop um, you can email the image um, you can just click here and it suddenly you can email that to your friend family to the police to your management director or wh whoever you want the image to be sent uh, straight away by by email 
Um, you can also um, print image by just printing here. It'll go on to um, it'll, uh, a printer on the computer will, will automatically print the 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 the, the, the actual image, um, as you can see. Um, and um, you can also, if you want to delete the image, say we don't need this image. We just want to delete. We just delete the image. So there again by looking by accessing our motion detection events, you see some really useful sort of monitoring tools, the show images, slideshow and your daily images that are for, for, for this day down here um, and again you can use the all the options for save the instance, save the image to your desktop computer, email the image, print the image and delete the image. So once again, you know, remote alert is ideal for um, for sort of monitoring activity at home, inside or outside your house or your business premises. But most important of all it's very, very, very easy to operate and very quick to get to the images, record images that you would like to see. That's great. I uh, look forward to seeing you on our next section. Thank you. Bye.